from Los Angeles to a worldwide audience, this is Boaz Power TV, where we take your life to the next level. Now, internationally known speaker and author, here's Boaz. Hi, welcome to The Power Show. You are part of The Power Nation, and I'm delighted that you're here, because here we take your life to the next level. We help you with your relationships, your finances, your health, and your career. This is episode number 41, Boaz Power TV, and I call it, and now, a few words from a legend. It is about uh, 27 miles north of uh, Los Angeles, nestled right at the foothills of the Sierra Madre Mountains. You find a little community called Glendora. And there, where there are still some citrus groves up a very unassuming street, you find a place called The Ranch. And there used to live, may she rest in peace, a lady whom I consider a legend. As far as professional speakers go, I don't know that there are too many people who are called legends, but uh, Dottie Walters was one of those. This is a lady who helped to found the National Speakers Association, the world's largest organization of speakers. She also helped to found the International Association of Speakers Bureaus, and in fact had her own Speakers Bureau. Scottish heritage, um, Dottie had an amazing spirit. She married Bob Walters many, many years ago, and he served in the Pacific with distinction and got some medals for bravery and heroism. And then when he came back at the end of World War II, um, the economy was kind of rough, and um, Dottie had two young children. And Bob's work was not going well. They tried some businesses, a dry cleaning store, and some other things that uh, failed. And then Bob got a job, but not enough necessarily to keep up with the house payment. So Dottie thought, what could she do? Well, as a teenager, her father had abandoned the family and she was very industrious, had some odd jobs while she was in high school and gave the money to her mother. So being industrious, she decided to put her two little kids in a stroller and go up and down the street and she put cardboard in one of her shoes because it was worn out and she had an idea. She thought, what if I could uh, write articles about local merchants in the paper and they could pay me and then I could buy some space in the paper. So she got the local paper uh, to allow her to write a shopper's column and she would review various stores and they paid her and then she paid a certain amount for the column and that began to work. And it was amazing what she did. She did this in Baldwin Park in an area not far from Glendora. And at the same time, in order to educate herself, because she did not get to go to college, her father thought that the girls shouldn't go to college and she wasn't bright enough to make something of herself before he abandoned the family. Isn't that amazing how some people declare to others something that they shouldn't even say? So she decided to educate herself. So Dottie went to the library and read a whole bunch of biographies of famous people. She read biographies and she made these people mentally her friends. She read one by Benjamin Franklin, and through the rest of her life, she considered him her friend. In fact, she read one by Albert Einstein, and in that book, Einstein said something so profound. He said, stop fussing about problems and concentrate on solutions. Stop fussing about problems and concentrate on solutions. Hello, is that not a lesson for all of us? Oh my gosh, it absolutely is. And so somehow, some way, uh, Dottie Walters met uh, Dr. Norman Vincent Peale many years ago, the man who wrote the book about positive thinking. And he was so impressed with what she had done to develop her little business that uh, she, he wrote a column about her in his Guidepost magazine called What Can One Housewife Do? What Can One Housewife Do? And that led to Dottie writing a book about women in sales, which became a bestseller. And it was amazing. Her reputation began to build. She got invitations to go do speaking events. And eventually, as I say, started the National Speakers Association and started her own Speakers Bureau and became world famous. She had spoken before her death all over the world. And I had the opportunity and the privilege to get to know Dottie and to spend some time with her. And truly, what a legend. What a legend. And so the uh, theme, the main point, the focus of this particular episode of Boaz Power TV is the following affirmation. Please write it down. I concentrate on solutions. I concentrate on solutions. This is so simple, but the majority of people concentrate on the problem. 
And the more they think about it, the bigger it gets. Okay, we've already got the problem. My mother would say, the, the milk is spilled, the glass is broken. Shall we go get some more milk rather than sit here and cry over it? Now listen, I've had challenges in my life and I, I have sent out invitations to my own pity parties. Nobody comes, okay? So let's just concentrate on solutions. Now, if you like these messages, and many people around the world do, please send five of your friends to my website, boazpower.com, and get them to subscribe to these free weekly television programs. You are special. You are unique. And by the way, on my website, boazpower.com, go to the shopping cart. Go to our store. There are a couple of CDs that are amazing. One, if you're an adult, will help you every day get your attitude going right. And the other is an amazing program for children called a 30-day can-do program for kids. You are special. You are unique. You are destined for greatness. And I see you as a champion. Have a powerful day. This has been Boaz Power TV. To comment, see other episodes, or to subscribe to this free broadcast, go to our blog at boazpower.com. That's boazpower.com. We're here to take your life to the next level.